Hello world! Welcome back to another Try Hack Me Advent of Cyber 2025 write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Day 7 room, Network Discovery, Scanta Clause. Let's get into it. So for task 1, you're going to want to go ahead and launch your attacker machine as well as the target machine. And once you've successfully done all that, you can just click check right here. And we can move directly into task 2. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom where the questions are so that we can just go ahead and start on those. And our first question asks, what evil message do you see on top of the website? The website it's referring to is the one running off of our target machine. So all we need to do to access that is open up the target machine's IP address in the URL bar of our browser here. So we'll just type in 10.66.156.2.1. Like so. And we'll get the home page of our target machine here. And the evil message at the top is pwned by Hopsec. So that will be the answer to our first question. And I'm going to go ahead and copy our target IP address here for later use. Our next question asks, what is the first key part found on the FTP server? You'll notice on our website here that there's an enter key button. And underneath it, it says locked. Submit the full key to proceed. If we click enter key here, you'll notice that our key is split into three parts as indicated right here. And we need to discover what those three key parts are. So our first key is found on the FTP server. So we can easily pull up the FTP server by just running nmap tac p21 and then our target IP address. And I want to get rid of the HTTP around it, and we'll go ahead and recopy it here. Press enter. You'll notice that there's these DNS warnings here. You can just ignore those if you want to, or you can specify tac tac system DNS to get rid of them. But regardless, we have a filtered FTP service running on port 21. That's not really what we want because that's not going to give any information because of the filtered status on the service. So what we want to do is look for a different FTP service that might be more open. And in order to do that, we need to scan all the TCP ports in order to find it, since services don't necessarily have to run on their default ports. So what we're going to do is run nmap tac P and then specify dash to run it on all ports ranging from 0 to 65535, which are all the possible ports that you can actually have services running on. Then we're going to specify an extra argument called tac tac script, which is a bunch of scripts that are available to you to do enumeration and other forms of info exfiltration off of your port scan. And we're going to set that equal to banner. And what that's going to do is grab any sort of welcome portal message that might be exposed on any ports that we scan. Then we're going to go ahead and paste in our target IP address here. Press enter. And then we're going to just let that run. Now, if you want to see progress updates on how far the scan has gotten, you can just press enter on your keyboard. And the percentage shown here is how much progress it's made. But I'm just going to skip to the part where the scan is finished because this one does take a while. Once your scan is finished, it should show some output that looks kind of like this. And you'll notice that there is an FTP service running on port 21212. That being the case, we should be able to connect to that FTP port by just running FTP, then our target address right here, and then the FTP port. We're presented with a root login. Let's try logging in as anonymous. And we've successfully logged in. A lot of the times the default user will be anonymous and the password will never be updated and you can just log in that way. And you will also have access to anonymous user privileges. So now that we're in the FTP server, we can type in help. There is an ls command, so let's go ahead and run that. There's our first key. How are we going to read the key? Well, there is a git command that FTP has, which will download it to our host device. So let's run that on tbfc qa underscore key one, like so. It says we got 13 bytes received. We can exit out of FTP. If we ls the directory that we're currently in, we can actually see that we did successfully download the key. So we'll go ahead and cat that out. And our first key ends up being Easter underscore. So we'll copy that and paste it in here. What is the second key port found in the TBFC app? 
Well, if we scroll back up to our original TCP scan, we can see that there's a TBFC service running on port 25251. Now we don't know what protocol is running that service, so what we can try to do to connect to it is simply running netcat, which will allow us to try to connect to a service that we don't really know how to connect to. It's kind of like a catch-all connection service. So we'll run that on our target address right here. We'll just copy that. And then we'll specify the port 25251 like so. We see we're now in some sort of TBFC shell. Let's run help like it says so we can see what commands we have access to. We have a get key command. Let's go ahead and type in get key. And there's our second key is underscore the underscore. So we'll copy that and paste that in as the answer to this question right here. Click check. What is the third key part found in the DNS records? Well, DNS is on port 53 usually. So the easiest thing we could probably do is dig our target IP address. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll look up the TXT record and we'll do plus short so we don't get all the extra crap around it. And we didn't actually get a text record. Now this is the part of this room where you do need to come back up and look at the instructions to see what they did because it's not very apparent based off of the information we have. So if we look here, we're talking about the dig command that we need to run on our target IP address. You'll notice that they do some sort of DNS zone transfer here in order to pull the hidden key that we need. So we're just going to copy what they did there. We'll do dig at our target IP address, txt, key3.tbfc.local. I don't know how we would have gotten this domain for this part of the room without having it looked at the instructions. So this is the only way that I'm aware of in order for us to be able to find the third key. So we'll press enter and our third key part ends up being new Xmas. So we'll copy that and scroll back down and paste it here. Our next question asks, which port was the MySQL database running on? Well, now that we have all three key parts, we can just enter in the full key into our admin panel right here. So we have Easter underscore is underscore the underscore new underscore Xmas. If we click unlock, it'll say correct key. Terminal is now available. We're going to go to the terminal. Now it's talking about a MySQL database. So MySQL typically runs on 3306 by default. We can confirm that by running sstack tunlp like so. And if we scroll down, we can see that on the local host, there is definitely a MySQL server as indicated by 3306. So now we just need to connect to that server. We can run MySQL to do so and that immediately brings us into the MySQL server. And now we can go ahead and fill in 3306, as we have confirmed that that is indeed the port number that the MySQL service is running off of. We'll click check. Finally, what's the flag you found in the database? So this question is implying that there's a database for us to sift through. So what we're gonna do is type in show databases here. And as you can see, we have the information schema, performance schema, and TBFC QA01. That's probably the database we want to look at. So now what we're going to do is show tables. My fault, we actually have to select the database first. So we need to type in use TBFC QA01 like so. Then we can do show tables. We see we have a flags table here. So now all we have to do is select star from flags like so. And what that's going to do is pull all the rows from the table for us to look at. And there's our flag, all services discovered. We'll copy that, paste it here, click check. And then you can just click check right here as well. And that should complete the room. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.